This is a tutorial on how to make a bandana. Imagine this is a head. I'm going to start out with a polygon plane. And we're going to need a lot of detail on that plane to be able to get the smooth surface that we want. So I'm going to go into the channel box, scroll down, and increase my subdivisions to 40. Then I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees in the y-axis. Scale it up. And the first thing we need to do is bend it over itself. For that, I'm going to use joints. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to look at it from the top view and go to animation, click on my joint tool. I'm going to put shading wireframe on shaded on so I can see the edges. And I'll put my first joint here. I'll hold down V for point snap. And my next point I'll put right near the middle. And then I'll put another joint right near that one. I just click and drag because otherwise it's going to snap to the other joint. I'm still holding down V. And then I'll hold down V again and put one at this end. Enter to complete. Shift select the plane. Change myself to animation menu set. Skin. Find skin. Smooth bind. Back to perspective view. Let's fold this thing. So I'm going to select both of these joints in the middle. And the reason I put these two joints in is that you don't want it uh, a perfect crease there. You want a little bit of space between the front and back side of the folded bandana. So I'm selecting both of those. If that's hard to do here, you can go into the outliner. And if I shift click on this, I can see that I have two joints, the middle two selected right there. Then I'm going to rotate those simultaneously. Five for shaded view, E for rotate. And I'm bending this in half like so. If you're not happy with how far those are spread apart, you could always try selecting a joint and moving it. If you're happy with the fold, select the surface, edit, delete by type, history. Now I want to be able to easily rotate and scale this for my head, so I'm going to do Modify Freeze Transformations. And that zeroes out all my transforms and fixes my rotate axis so I can easily just rotate like this. Change that to minus 90. I don't need my joints anymore, so I can delete those. Now we want to wrap this around the head, and I can certainly make more joints and bend it that way, but there's also a nice tool called Bend. With the surface selected, under the animation menu set, create deformer, nonlinear, bend. With bend, you see you have this green wire and it needs to be oriented the direction of the bandana. So I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. And then scroll down in the channel box, click on bend, click on curvature, and then middle mouse drag and it'll bend it right around my head. So you've got the basic bandana now. Now I'm going to delete history again. And if I want to change the shape, there's a couple ways I could do that. One is with the Sculpt Geometry tool. So from my Surfaces menu set, I'm going to go to Edit NURBS, Sculpt Geometry Tool, Options. And a few things to know about. First is your brush size. That red circle is my brush. If I hold down B, and then click and drag, I can change my brush size. You can either push or pull right here. Pushing is going to be a little tricky because we could quickly run into our other surface. But I'll try it a little bit. The other important setting before we begin is to start it out on normal. It'll push it in the normal direction. That's the direction perpendicular to the surface. And max displacement. That's how much it'll push per mouse click. Since this is small, I have it set to 0.1. And now I'll change my brush size and click and drag and I can start to create things like wrinkles and folds and just kind of make it look a little less perfect. That's looking better. Make sure not to intersect the other surface. If I want to continue to edit this, another thing to do is to move points with soft select. 
I'm going to select the head and hide it for a moment. I'll turn on Modeling Toolkit for this. That's going to be right here, this button right here. And click on for Point Selection. And I like to have it on Move, and I also like Tweak Marquee, which allows me to just click and drag. You notice I already have Soft Selection on. You can scroll down and see that that's on here. The hotkey for that is B. So and I can start pushing these, and, and with tweak marquee on, this I just range click and drag. I don't even need points. To is what it will affect. If I want to change that range, I, I hold down the B key points and then and click them. and drag. And it's going to change way the way range of what will be affected when I move a point. Now I'll click on a point and push on it. Go back to object mode. So there's a quick bandana. To tie it in the back, you'll probably want to start with a larger bandana and you'll have to use a complicated series of steps to wrap those around each other. You might want to just add another piece of geometry here to simulate the tie in the back rather than having to actually bend and tie those around. But from the front, this is looking pretty usable.